This is the last time for this season. God is calling any repentant to come and repent right now. This message has been attempting to reach your ears for past several days and finally the day has come. This message is meant to give you a new understanding about an important part of your life that can greatly affect your future. Dear child of God, the world has both good and bad people. If there is sin, then there is hope in repentance. If there are blessings, then there are trials. There are people who believe in God and there are those who will always mock you for having faith in God. Sadly, people who believe in God often face ridicule and harassment from those who don't share their beliefs. These people might mock believers out of ignorance, insecurity, or even hatred. They might think believers are foolish for trusting in a higher power, or they might feel threatened by a believer's strong faith. But don't let this discourage you. Just remember, you are not alone in your faith. There are so many others who share your beliefs and support you. Also, God is always with you, helping you through these kinds of situations. This kind of persecution isn't new. It's been happening for thousands of years. The Bible tells us that believers may face persecution for their faith. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 11 to 12, Jesus says, Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Just rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Bible is full of stories of believers who were mocked and even punished for their faith. For example, Daniel was thrown into a den of lions because he refused to stop praying to God. The Apostle Paul was imprisoned multiple times, beaten and eventually executed for his faith in Jesus Christ. So why do people harass and persecute believers? It's because they fear what they don't understand. They fear the power that comes from having faith in something greater than themselves. They fear that by acknowledging God, they are admitting their own weakness. So they lash out, trying to prove that they are strong and in control. But remember, there is nothing weak about having faith in God. It takes incredible strength and courage to stand up for what you believe in, especially when the world is against you. So don't let the mockery and harassment get to you. Instead, let it fuel your passions for Christ. Just remember, Jesus himself was mocked and ridiculed during his time on earth. He was spat on, beaten, and ultimately crucified for proclaiming the truth. But even in the face of such hatred, he never wavered in his faith. He remained steadfast and true, knowing that God was with him every step of the way. So if you are facing persecution for your faith, take heart, you are not alone. You are part of a long line of believers who have stood up for what they believe in. Even in the face of massive opposition, 
and just like them you can find strength and hope in the knowledge that God is with you always just hold on to the hope and the promise of eternal life and let your light shine brightly now listen to what god is saying to you right now he's saying my dear child my love for you is limitless and unchanging walk in the certainty that all will be well for i am beside you holding your hands leading you toward a life brimming with prosperity and contentment never surrender or turn back just confront this difficult moment with courage conviction and determination then all your uncertainty will dissipate and darkness will give way to my eternal light which will guide you down the path to joy and the tremendous blessings i have reserved for you soon you will see your aspirations flourish and release the fruits of your labors accept my words today and believe they will come to pass tomorrow continue moving forward in faith until the very end for with my right hand i uphold you and walk beside you on your journey my child do not be sad you are not alone on the voyage of life i understand navigating this world can be daunting and perilous at times but i want you to proceed with your head held high do not succumb to tribulations or be disheartened when everything seems contrary just remember you are not alone and i am by your side my love and support will never leave you this is a promise i made to you that i will fulfill not only in your life but also for generations to come therefore do not fret or despair when traversing barren deserts for i will be present an oasis of love and wellspring of living water do not fear feeling lost for i will be a beacon illuminating your path guiding to your intended destination i will shield you from the schemes of evil a protection against life's adversities i will drive away the ravenous wolves seeking to take advantage and showing a safety with every step you take when you feel feeble and powerless do not hesitate to seek my aid for my mighty hands will forever enshroud you in your times of need know that i am your sanctuary of strength in me you will find the power to overcome any barrier coming your way regardless of how far you may feel from me or the depth of the mistakes and sins that have shrouded your past my love for you is unfailing eternal and absolute nothing can eclipse it not even your own flaws my love is an endless fount of hope within it you will discover the courage to move forward come closer to me my cherished child seize this moment and heed my summons do not allow negative voices whether integral or external to divert you from your distant path hold fast to my guidance toward truth and enlightenment resist the allure of temptation and magnesi of this world for i have set aside great and precious blessings for you ordained even before your creation simply have faith in my word 
and I will shower you and your family with abundant heavenly boons. Nothing can restrain my mighty hand, for my promises are unshakable and true. Trust in them, and I will reaffirm my covenant with you once more. Know that I have a magnificent purpose for you, and my blessings are copious. Just have conviction, and you will witness my pledges come to life in your journey, no matter the obstacles. Do not lose heart amid trials, for they are merely milestones on the path toward your prosperous and triumph destiny. My child, have faith in my might, and do not stray from the course I have laid before you. Avoid succumbing to harmful desires or surrendering to tempting divergence. Remain steadfast in your faith and fix your sights on me. I will see you through life's turbulent seas, and together we shall overcome every tempest. Come to me, my child, and I will provide solace in your struggles, filling your heart with joy and contentment, ushering in new blessings to your life. I promise to bestow both spiritual and material prosperity as long as you stand firm in your faith and trust my words. Type, I am blessed if you think that God has blessed you and will continue to bless you for the rest of your life. Share this message with nine people in your WhatsApp list. And let God's word be heard in every home, every region, every corner of the world. Now to all the listeners, I would like to ask you to come and join me in this powerful prayer that I am going to pray right now. Let us pray together. O oh, merciful and gracious Father, we come to you today with hearts full of thanks. We are grateful for your endless love and mercy towards us. We ask for strength and bravery to stay strong in our faith, even when we face ridicule and harassment from those who don't understand the truth. Please remind us that you are always with us and that your love never ends. We also pray for those who don't believe in you. We hope that their eyes and hearts will be open to your truth. We pray that they will get to know you and feel the peace and happiness that comes from being in a relationship with you. Lord, we know that the path ahead might be hard, but we trust in your promises of hope and salvation. We pray that you will keep being with us and guiding us in everything we do. Help us to be a bright light of your love and truth to everyone around us, even when we face persecution. Lord, we also want to pray for those who are struggling with their faith. We ask that you give them the strength to overcome their doubts and fears. We pray that they will find comfort and reassurance in your word and in the fellowship of other believers. Lord, we know that we are not perfect. We make mistakes and we sin. But we also know that you are a forgiving God. We ask for your forgiveness and for the strength to turn away from our sins. We ask that you help us to grow in our faith. We ask that you help us to be more like you, to love as you love, to forgive as you forgive, and to show mercy to others as you show mercy to us. We ask all these things in your holy name. Amen.